Hello, uh, it's Sean Mussel with the Old Realms team. I'm going to show you how to add uh, new uh, skeletons to Bannerlord. Um, this couldn't have been done without the help of lots of really smart people that are not me. So I'm going to reference them and all their amazing work um, at the bottom of this video. Really, really impressive stuff. But uh, yeah, here goes. So uh, this is the dwarf. Um, let me show you the reference. Here's a human skeleton. Um, and all I've done is taken the uh, game skeleton, the vanilla one, and scaled it to match my mesh here. So pretty straightforward, pretty simple. Um, and if you know anything about modeling, then off you pop. Easy. So here I rig it to that um, as you normally would, but all you do is change where these bones are. Um, easy stuff. So what you can do is file, export that as an FBX, like usual. Go to but you haven't imported it yet, so you won't go here. You'll go somewhere else in your computer, and I'll just show you the export settings. I'm going to assume you know a lot about this already if you're looking to add new skeletons. Okay, so then you would export that. These are the settings. Very straightforward, very simple. Cool. So now you've got a, a dwarf, and in this case, or whatever model you want, um, rigged to uh, changed. A skeleton and I've changed just this name here dwarf skeleton dwarf skeleton notice I haven't got the not used that's taken off I didn't have any of the leaf bones and nor did I export it with leaf bones so then you'll go to the editor you will then import your new asset um, let me just show you the settings so you can see your import with settings and here you are you'll have all your morphs everything set up so it work um, skeletons is the important part um, you know, you can worry about morphs later after you get it all set up and then uh, double click this to open the editor and here you'll see it and yours will have uh, these bands will not have any joints um, and you'll you can copy the information from here. Um, you don't actually want to, but you know, it's an odd way of doing things and you would go here, you'd copy this and paste it into here and then you would go file. And you'd auto generate and it would generate these D, D uh, bones. Uh, you don't want those, well, you do, but uh, it'll only generate it won't generate any of these IK ones. If you don't have the IK ones, the feet don't work. So you have to have those, but they don't work when you attack. So, what we need to do is, and this is thanks to a, a guy called uh, Short Jake, and he gave this to me, very smart individual. Um, I have no idea how he did this, but really impressive. And I will link this little application that he made. Um, it's a different version of the T-Pack tool, the one that you guys have. And you will go here and you'll open up your mod. You know, you've just uh, added that to. You may have to close it before it will recognize your new files. But nonetheless, you'll get the idea. You'll figure it out. Uh, so you click that and it'll load everything. And then you will see your new um, skeleton. And yours will not have these. It will um, probably uh, be quite blank. So what you're going to do is you'll come here. And you will uh, copy the skeletal properties of the human skeleton because it actually matches really the same, just scaled differently. You'll copy that and then you'll come here and you'll paste it. If it doesn't show up, uh, come back here and click this and it'll reload everything. And then the paste option will show. Let's try it, see if I can just get it to show. Yes. Um, once, once that shows, and you can copy and paste it. And um, that should transfer all of that for you uh, human -pack. Oh, I guess I didn't hit copy so it didn't work but you'd click copy and then you would paste that over here again if it doesn't show up re-click it and you click copy, it should show up um, and then if it doesn't show up immediately in here uh, just click back off it and then click on again it'll show now you've got it showing wicked cool you show ok they're there you're a happy person then you're going to save it and you can save it to, I like to save it somewhere else so I can then check it, make sure it has stuff in it and doesn't overwrite what I've done. Here's an orc I did earlier. But eventually what you will do is you'll take this file and with the same name, you will put it um, into, where are we going to put my modules? For Armory. You go to assets, not asset sources, because you're going to change the TPAC file. You're not changing the FBX. And you'll go to your dwarf, in my case, my body, and I'm going to, this I will overwrite this because now it has IK joints. The one I just imported does not. Even though I generated joints that would be wrong, it would be just the DK ones, no IKs. Cool. Now you've got those. 
So then to double check it, you would go back and that's when you would use this editor. You'd double click it and you'd open this open. You go, oh, wow, look at all these IK joints. Happy me. So now you've done that. Your model is complete. That's, it's good to go. Um, should work. Uh, and what will happen is you'll load up the game and to, in the editor, it won't work. It'll use the human skeleton and same in the inventory and on the campaign map, even if you've done all your XMLs right, which um, before we get into that, let me show you the XMLs. But I'm going to say if you're doing this, you already know all of this. I'll just breeze over it. Um, you'll need a monsters file. You will reference this dude. Um, if you just want to have a look, I will copy and paste this um, somewhere you can get a hold of it and look at it because, you know, going through all this is tedious. Um, but if you want to rename where I have dwarf, that'll be much easier. Uh, obviously, all of this. I did this because I wanted to mess with some of these. That was a different thing. And then skins as well. You have to have skins and all that good stuff. Cool. So you've got your XMLs. Again, I'm assuming you know how to do all of that. Um, all right. This is the complicated part. Again, new coders. You need to either note yourself or know someone who knows how to do it. I do not. I had to ask the smart people, uh, Hunter Haribo and Zerker in my team, who are coders, as well as uh, Short Jake. He also helped provide us with this code now i can find it <laughs> is the next and this is for um harmony so if i can make this a bit smaller again i will paste this but um oop, so you can use it yourself but this is uh the one that fixed it in the um, character creator, so character creator patch, and then I believe this is the one that will make it work in the inventory and on the campaign map. If you don't have that, it'll just use the human. It'll do stuff, but you know it'll be wrong, and it won't hold things where it's supposed to, and all that sort of stuff. So cool. Again, I'll paste this somewhere you can get a hold of it um, and put it in your own mods. If you don't know where to put it. Um, ask a coder or someone that really does know it is for harmony um, not the xmls so you need a, need a fart smeller to help you with that all right so now that's that you'll have all that brilliant um what else is needed i don't recall i believe that's it i believe that's everything and if you do everything correct let me get out of this you will know and i probably missed something but nonetheless um, it's more than you had before. And hopefully I can load it before this little application I'm using um, times me out. The free video recorders. Uh, right, let's do this. All right, so here we are in the, the character creator. Um, this race hasn't really been set up for dwarfs yet, but, you know, here we are. So there he is, looking beautiful. We give him a lovely bushy beard. There he is, and you see how he works, his shoulders aren't all messed up. That's because of uh, the script that we used earlier. Let's just run through this very quickly. Notice how it's, uh, it doesn't match. That's because this outfit is made for a human skeleton and not our dwarf skeleton, but they do match. Uh, just not quite. Cool, so we'll go into the inventory, and this is what the other script uh, fixed. All right, here we are, so let's remove this. And now you will notice we have another dwarf, and there he is, using the right animations. And he's in the inventory, working as he's supposed to. And he also holds the uh, stick, the little pole there correctly. So we'll run over here and get into the town before this little screen recorder runs out. Um, cool. So here we are, it runs around, fantastic. And now, because we have those eye grazes, attack and no uh, block. His feet stay working. How cool is that? You now have a new skeleton using the uh, in-game animation. So you don't have to do all that hard work of making the right. 